All right, welcome to the show. It's Christmas with the nerds. Give me a binary high five, everybody. One, zero, one. Come on. That's right. Woo. I'm looking through. I have uh, friends and family on this show. I have got uh, fa fans. I have Facebook friends and TikTok fans. And uh, we're going to have a great show for you tonight. Um, I, I'm wearing my hat. I got my TARDIS. Uh, how many people are Doctor Who fans? How many people Doctor Who? Make some noise if you're Yes. So... Somebody asked me the other day if it's a real TARDIS. It is not, because if it was a real TARDIS, I would not be here. I would not be in 2020. Not a real TARDIS. I would be in some other year. It wouldn't be 2020. A couple of things I, uh, I wanted to get to right away. First of all, I hope you're all doing well in COVID. Uh, I don't know about you, but for uh, nerds, I, I, it's not, I, I don't know. I'm doing pretty well. I'm thinking about it. Uh, I've been preparing for social distancing most of my life. I don't know about you. This, <laughs> This is very comfortable. In fact, I'm thinking 12 to 15 feet would be better. I'm not even comfortable <laughs> right. with this six-foot thing. That's too close. That is too close, if you ask me. And In some ways, I'm doing better. I remember when I was single, I was uh, dating this girl once, and we broke up, and she said, I wouldn't touch you with a 10-foot pole, and I'm thinking, it would be six feet now. I can get four feet closer. <laughs> it's better. It's better. <laughs> Merry Christmas, and welcome to Comedy From Home. This is the comedy show that comes to you from my office right here in my home in Southern California. I am your host, Don McMillan. Thank you for joining us today. And it's Merry Christmas. This is the Christmas show. Or if, if you're not a Christian or Catholic, uh, a Happy Hanukkah, a Good Kwanzaa, Holy Ramadan. And if you're atheist or agnostic, uh, have a great day. This is for everybody. This show's for everybody. It's just a time to celebrate. Now, I've been really busy. I haven't posted a lot in December because I had a lot of virtual Christmas and holiday parties, which thank you, everybody who hired me. Uh, it really made the year uh, come to a strong ending, and it was really a lot of fun, as, as fun as virtual comedy can be. But today, I wanted to share clips from our Christmas show. That's right. Last Saturday night, December 19th, I did Christmas with the Nerds. Three of my nerdiest comedy friends, Jackie Cashian, Kasha Patel, and Steve Bruner, joined me. And we had a nice crowd at the Nowhere Comedy Club. It was all about being nerdy, and we, you know, we had the binary I-5, 101, and... Uh, uh, you know, Kasha actually uh, used several uh, references to uh, biomorphic stuff. I didn't even understand. I didn't even understand. She's such a nerd, uh, and when it comes to that stuff, I didn't. I didn't get it at all. But thank you uh, for supporting all of us comics this holiday season. And I want to share some clips from the holiday show. You saw that opening clip was how the uh, show started. Then I wanted to talk about Christmas and my recollections of Christmas as a kid. And there's a clip coming up later in the show from uh, from that live show last Saturday night where I talk about my Christmas wish list from when I was a kid. Stick around, that'll be coming up at the end. But let's get to my comedy in place bit right now. Let's go uh, to my slides. Okay, here we go. The first thing I wanted to talk about was how much better the toys are now for kids. I would I would love to be a kid right now. They have the coolest toys. They have like drones and robots and they can program everything. They get, oh, it's amazing. It really is amazing. Our toys were so lame. They really were. I don't know how I got to be an engineer because look at the toys they gave. They gave a slinky. A slinky. It was a spring, basically. What was it just laying around like a manufacturing floor? And somebody said, "Hey, I think I'll take this home and give it to my kid. Maybe he can play with it. It's a toy." Yeah, that's not a spring, Bobby. That's a toy. Look, play with it. Look, it'll walk down the stairs. Yeah, that actually was pretty cool. I gotta tell you, I thought when it was, I was like, "Wow, it has a mind of its own. It can walk down the stairs. The springs are gonna take over the world." Slinky was actually pretty cool. What else did we have? Pretty lame though. Uh, clackers. How did I survive my childhood? Seriously, seriously. I, I must have given myself at least 10 concussions. How do I not have brain damage? Because wh what are you doing? You're giving like a six-year-old with no coordination, by the way, a set of nunchucks. Hard as a rock. You'd sit it up and down. Bonk. It would hit you in your head every time. How did I not get brain damage? Way to go, Mom and Dad. Way to go. Really nice toy. How could They would never get through the safety people now. Never. And finally, the lamest toy ever, pickup sticks. How did they ever sell this with a toy? Okay, here's how it's going to work, Bob. We're going to sell this to the kids. We're going to throw a bunch of sticks on the ground and have them clean it up. And we're going to call it a game. Genius marketing. Yes, pickup sticks. What did we learn from pickup sticks? Nothing. Nothing. They were the lamest. But I'm wrong, actually. We did learn something. Look, I learned the laws of physics from these toys. This is why our toys were, in some sense, a little better. What did I learn from the spring? Spring theory. I totally understood spring theory. At the end of conservation of energy and moving back and forth. I understood. When I got the springs in physics, I understood them. Clackers, conservation of momentum, right? It's got to be the same. Conserv conserv that's what makes it go back and forth. I understood the conservation of momentum. And finally, pickup sticks, entropy, right? They never land the same way twice. It's the second law of thermodynamics. I knew entropy before I even knew what entropy was, thanks to pickup sticks. So in a lot of ways, those toys were better. These kids today, learning nothing from their toys. The toys are doing all the thinking for them. It's kind of a negative, kind of a 
Bah humbug. But I thought I'd also share, and coming up next, by the way, stick around. There's more live comedy come up from our virtual show, Christmas with the Nerd Show. Uh, this actually is uh, my Christmas wish list from when I was a kid, which maybe if you're a nerd like me, you can relate because there's some toys in there that you might have wanted when you were a kid. Uh, enjoy it. It's coming up live comedy. In the meantime, I hope you're doing well. Stay healthy. Be safe. Have a happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. All that good stuff. Until next time, I will see you right here at Comedy From Home. Here comes your video. I thought, I, I thought you guys would get a kick out. This is my Christmas wish list when I was a kid. Uh, and this is very nerdy. Very nerdy. For number one thing, CRC math tables. Anybody else? I, I love oh, my CRC yeah. math tables. Remember those? No. Apparently, I'm the only... Me and Norm are the only math nerds. Come on! I love... My favorite thing about the CRC math tables is there was a random number table. Yeah. Doesn't the fact that you, you could put it in a table, doesn't that immediately think it's not random? But no, there were random number tables. <laughs> Second, that was that's nerdy when math tables are your number one thing on your list. Number two, uh, Star Trek communicator, right? Oh, God, yes. I wanted my communicator, right? Uh I, that's what I never got one. I never got one. But until later on when the Motorola uh, flip phone came out, and then I had one. I had to have one of those. I had to have one of those. Right? Uh, number two, I'm uh, number three, the HP 35 calculator. Remember when Ooh. that came out? Oh, that was hot. That was so cool. But the coolest thing about it was when you typed a certain number in and you blew it up, it said boobies. Remember that? Remember that? That was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite thing about the HP 35. Uh uh, number four, uh, my Doctor Who TARDIS, which I got. It's right, it's back there while I showed it to you before. I got my, yeah. Oh, actually, not only that, look at this. I have another one. I have a little one. I, this is the one I got. Look, this, it flew away. There we go. That was number, uh, number five, uh, chemistry and, how many people out there got a chemistry and erector set? Did you get those? It, it, when you're a nerd, you know you got my, yeah. And for me, you know, either one, the chemistry set or the erector set, but, you know, when you're 10, 12, you get one and it's like, huh, it's an, erect an erection set. Get it? It's a, <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite joke when I was 12. Uh, number six, uh, COVID vaccine. Yeah, I was thinking ahead. I knew it was coming. Even back when I was... I wished for the COVID vaccine. And because I was a nerd, because I was a nerd, even when I was a kid, I knew about recursive. Uh, so I actually said, go to one. It was recursive. Santa was going to bring me all those things an infinite number of times. That was, that was my brilliant wish list from when I was a kid.